All right. The moment everybody's been waiting for. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to make our very first object. We had to do a little groundwork to set up uh, the options the way that we wanted them. And we had to learn a little bit about how the windows are laid out and how we interact with the model. And now we're ready to get started. So let's go into the home window and we're going to create a new part. So click the new part icon and our new part workspace window opens up. So the very first thing that we need to do when you start a new part is the, the basic approach is create a sketch and then create a feature from that sketch. And then you'll basically rinse and repeat over and over until your final design is achieved. So you can sketch on two kinds of things. Reference geometry, such as a plane. And in this case, we only have the three default planes visible. Um, but we could make more planes if we wanted to, and we'll learn about that later. Uh, or you can sketch on the, the, an actual 3D face if it's flat. For now, we don't have anything on here, so we're going to have to sketch on a plane. So let's go ahead and select the XY plane. And now we're going to enter in to, three, to 2D sketch mode on this plane. Uh, to do that, click the Activate 2D Sketch button on the Part Modeling tab. You'll notice that when we activate 2D Sketch Mode, uh, a few things happen. The first thing is that the view orients itself to look directly at the, the sketch plane. And uh, the second thing is that a new tab opens up called 2D Sketching. And this gives you all of the different kinds of sketch figures, constraints, and things like that that we'll get into later. The third thing is that there's now a grid uh, on the window. And the grid, when you're first starting out, is a pretty good uh, indication that you're in sketch mode. So just be aware that if you see a grid, you're sketching. If you don't see a grid, you're not sketching. Uh, so, without further ado, let's let's make something. We're going to make uh, a profile for a feature that we're uh, going to try to extrude later. Uh, don't worry too much about the terminology. Just click on circle. And we can see that our mouse now has a little circle thing under it. We're not going to worry at all about how big things are or making sure they line up right. We're just going to make our first uh, basic part. So, single click the mouse and then drag, and you'll see the preview of the circle that we're making, as, as, as well as the dimension uh, getting updated. Now, if you want, uh, you can type a number in here, 4.5, press Enter, and we see we've got a, a new thing with the dimension. Alternatively, uh, we can dimension things in a few different ways, but we're not going to worry about that for right now. We have a sketch. It's a basic sketch of just a circle, but that's going to be enough for us. So go to Part Modeling tab and click on Extrude. What the Extrude tool does is it basically takes your sketch and it just pulls it out in one direction. So we're going to leave all the defaults. It's going to do it to five inches. And we're going to press OK. And we have a cylinder. We've made our first 3D object. Now, I mentioned earlier that we can sketch on two kinds of things. We can sketch on planes, or we can sketch on faces if they're flat. So this is an example of a face that is not flat. It's a cylindrical face. And we, we could try to activate 2D sketch, but it says non-planar face. I can't pick that. So, uh, but we can sketch directly on this face. So we're going to select this face by single clicking it and we're going to say activate 2D sketch. And now we're in a 2D sketch mode again on top of this face and we'll create a rectangle by, two, by clicking the first end endpoint. We're going to go back into part modeling and we're going to go to Extrude again. In this case, we're going to change the size a little bit, which you can do either by dragging the node, or you can go up here and type in a value if you want. We'll put in 2.5. 
And there you go. This is our very first basic part. Uh, and that's the basic process. You're, you're going to repeat this over and over and over again using different kinds of tools um, to achieve the final model that you want.